All right, 2020 Lowrider S. Here we go. So far, so good. This thing is got some serious power. It's a 114. I'm not used to all of the wind noise. But that's to be expected because I've got a fairing. So I apologize if you get a lot of wind noise in this. Woo, it's got some power. I mean, you can see how high my legs are. I'm 6'7", so if you're 6'4 and above, it's going to be a little rough on you. Um, or if you just have long legs. I actually have short legs for my height. But, oh my god, this thing is smooth. Nice little curve. I tell you what, handling is amazing. God, if the, I don't even know if forward controls would help because like if I put my feet out here, my legs are still up pretty high. It's a cool little bridge. I tell you what, this is a comfortable, smooth ride outside of my leg position. Arms are not bad at all. Like I could ride like this if my legs were different. If this bike was stretched out another six inches, or hell, not even six inches. Like if this bike was stretched out another four inches, I would be a lot more comfortable. Those arrows mean that I have a turn coming up. The double arrows mean I am turning now. Once again, it's Milwaukee 8, so the Harley Clunk's all but gone, uh, which is kind of cool. I'm going to adjust this mirror real quick because I'm not able to see that well behind me. I mean, this thing gets up and goes. Another great test riding road. Like I said in the previous video, Tennessee, Kentucky, this whole Southern Hills area, we've got some amazing test ride roads. Well, amazing rides, period, not test ride roads. Like this is up in Johnson City where it's Smith Brothers, Harley Davidson, they're doing some demo days during the regional hog rally. And I'm gonna ride this one. I just wanted to see how I fit. I mean, you definitely, I would need the forward controls. I mean, this is, I could do a U-turn because these bars are high enough. But I know on the FXDR, the 2020 FXDR, which I'd like to try. I mean, if I had to do a U-turn, my bar is hitting the, so I'd have to stick my legs. Oh, that hurt. Yeah, that hurts. I'm unflexible. That's what I get for being old. I mean, you barely touch the throttle on this sucker and it goes. And I'm wanting to get it low in uh, revs. So I'm down at two and four. Cause one thing I always hear about the Milwaukee 8 is the low end power you have on the, on the uh, RPMs. Okay, that was third. So I wasn't in the low end. Let me get in the low end on the four. All right, I'm up around three and get through this first before I try that. All right, here's a good straightaway. I'm down at 1500 RPMs in fourth. And I'm gone. Holy cow. They weren't lying about that. You get some major power at the low end RPMs. That's kind of cool. I guess that's a, a, like with me, I would have had to shift down to third to do that. But with this, it jumped up to 40 like it was nothing. I hope I haven't missed any arrows. Because I've been looking at the gauges and all that stuff. It's like a cool bridge coming up. Ah, uh, 
a nice little river creek. I call that a river. It's beautiful. Thing handles like a dream. So if you're wondering why I started the video on the side of the road, <laughs> I actually started it pulling out and I didn't press record. Y'all are kind of getting used to my uh, technological skills of button pressing and memory card having. This time I had 48 minutes, so I know I've got at least this ride and possibly another test ride that I could do this on. I got up to 60 and 4th like it was nothing. The revs didn't even get past 3,000. Not a whole lot of um, friction zone in the clutch. I do notice that. It's similar, I think, to the Rogue King was kind of like that that I test drove. It's not bad. I mean, once you get used to it, the friction zone being smaller is not bad at all. I don't know where these curves or roads go, so. All I know is it's gorgeous back here. that's another thing like walking it stopping that peg right there hits my thigh i mean my calf learn your anatomy zeke no but it hits my calf and then if i try to walk forward you can see that kind of hits that has nothing to do with the design of the bike that has to do with my build excuse me go van i can't go i can't see where this Is the van gonna come over or what? All right, I'm going after this truck. No, the van's going. See, that's why you watch. And even though people are sitting in weird places on a road, know where they're doing, kind of paying attention. Zero to sixty, pretty quick. I'm assuming this is the road that Smith Brothers is on. It looks like that highway is on. And this bike feels pretty freaking awesome. When I get back, I'm gonna try one of the 2020 Road Glides. I think they have a CVO. If they have a CVO, that's what I'm trying. If not, I'll do the uh, billiard red one that I love that color. I'm not a red guy. I don't really like the color red, but that billiard red on the new 2020 Road Glide is pretty outstanding. But this Lowrider S, uh, Dave Rowe from V Twin Visionary just got one. Uh, I see why. If my legs were shorter, if I was shorter, Man, this is a fun bike to ride. Beautiful countryside. Look at those houses. Holy crap. Ow. Bug in the face. Ow. Ow. Power for freaking days. Amazing. All right, so what's my take? Um, from a tall guy's perspective, there's a lot of work you're gonna have to do. The, the handlebars, you won't have to fix much. Um, there's not a whole lot you'd have to do. They're, they're fairly comfortable. 
the foot controls you're definitely gonna have to fix I might even go with a I don't know maybe a higher seat like the Lapera daddy long legs lifts you up about an inch or so uh, try that out but other than that I mean power wise it's got enough power to carry a big guy around I mean I'm six seven two sixty ish ish and um, it, it didn't struggle at all it had all the power I needed so there was no issues there at all anyways back at Smith Brothers Harley Davidson in Johnson City Tennessee Yeah, I mean, if you're, you know, under 6'4-ish, good bike. Eh, unless you have long legs at 6'4", then maybe not so much. But definitely, I'm impressed. I'm impressed with the power, I'm impressed with the handling, I'm impressed with the motor. The shifting, once again, Milwaukee 8, you know, it's very smooth, very easy. Uh, this thing will freaking take off like a bat out of hell. I like it. 2020 Lowrider S. I'm shocked. Pleasantly surprised. Got a little get it going on. <laughs> a little? 